Screen printing is an art. We get it. No one particular way to do a job. This is just our take on it, with some quick tips to help you elevate techniques while improving efficiency in your shop. All that and add a dash of Business 101 and you've got yourself a series. For anyone out there, press for time. Welcome back to another episode of Press for Time. We are gonna be talking about a really sexy subject today, chemicals and chemical compliance. So I can already see a lot of you kind of glazing over and maybe pushing for the stop button, but give me a second. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be painless. As of June 15th, 2015, OSHA is requiring everyone to start shifting to a new form, the old format, MSDS, or Material Safety Data Sheet. Most of you probably know what that is, some of you don't. This is a form that accompanies all the inks and chemicals and things that we use in the industry. Actually, any chemical in any industry requires an MSDS form. The new form is called an SDS, or a safety data sheet. And it is more of what we're using in the GHS, which is Global Harmonized System. That's important because what they're doing is they're changing the format so that everything matches globally. It's important to you because you are required as a screen printer to let your employees know what they're working with, what's in it, and to let government officials, fire departments, things like that, know the types of products that are in your building and how they can handle them. This is a right to know issue with your employees, which is important because you don't want OSHA to come in or certain areas they have air quality management districts, things like that are gonna require these forms. A lot of these forms are available on our website, dynamicsps.com, or there's also a great resource online called msdsonline.com. They have a lot of really good information. You can really get in the weeds with it if you want to, but it's not necessary. Really what you need to know is make yourself aware of them, look at the products you use, update the forms from the MSDS version to the SDS version, and keep that book out there so everybody has access to it. Call your distributor, call the manufacturer. There's lots of ways to get this information, and it is important. I was wrong, I'm actually glazing over myself at this point, so we're gonna move on, get back to work. This episode of Press for Time has been brought to you and powered by Dynamic Screen Printing Supply and produced by ProQuoter. Remember, it all starts with a quote. Boy, that, that one was rough. Jeez, <laughs> holy crap, that's a lot of acronyms. <clears throat> Can I just roll through another one? Yeah. Okay.